Hey Raw Stars, it's Tiffany Roth and guess what? The fittest winter retreat has now gone to Sunset Ranch Oasis. That's right, check out this beautiful backdrop. We are here restoring ourselves with this amazing energy surrounded by lakes. We're gonna get into some beautiful elongating yoga moves that are gonna stretch you out and make you feel amazing. Okay, as we get started, first I want you to get your body in balance. So just kind of wiggle your toes around where they are and ground your feet into the earth. And then you're gonna drive the energy of your heels into the earth and the balls of your feet. And then just put your, your mind into your knees and pull up your muscles so that you feel yourself actually elevating. And then put your shoulders right on top of your hips so that you're balanced. Open up your heart, relax, open your hands out to the side. And let's close our eyes for one minute and just breathe in through the nose out through the nose. And get yourself grounded. And just be in this present moment of beauty. And open your eyes. And then we're gonna extend our arms all the way up. Look up towards the sky, stretching up. Just kind of look up and hold it. And then open your arms out, lead with your chest, and you're gonna do a swan dive down like this. Bend the knees and drop your hands down towards the floor. Relax your head. Bring your chin to your chest and roll up. Warming up the spine, get back into that breath, back into your balance. Again, let's inhale up. Drop the shoulders, look up. Exhale through the nose, do a swan dive down. Bend the knees. Tummy tight, roll it up again, warming up the spine. Good. We're going to inhale up and hold it. Exhale as you reach down. Bend the knees slightly. Look up towards me and inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and relax back. And roll it up. One more time, a little more fluid, inhale up. Lead with your heart, exhale, swan dive down. Reach towards the ground, bend the knees, relax and release. Extend your spine out, chest up, going to your fingertips, look up towards me. Beautiful, now we're gonna place our palms down, bend your knees, and you're gonna walk your feet back. Place your wrists directly under your shoulders. Your feet are shoulder width apart. Your abdominals are engaged. And just breathe here for a second, getting your body balanced and plank. Beautiful, drop your knees down, stay on the balls of your feet. So you're just kind of warming up. You should feel a stretch in your feet. Your heels are up, but the balls of your feet are on the ground. Just hold here. We're going to inhale and straighten the legs. Okay, keep your hips even with your shoulders. Breathing into the lungs. Your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Pushing the energy towards the back through your heels and out the top of your head. Drop the knees down again. Flatten the toes down so that the tops of your feet are on the mat. And you're gonna lean back and stretch. Focus on your breathing. Inhale and exhale through the nose.
and you're gonna lean forward. This time, just drop your hips gently down towards the mat, and then bend your elbows. Come all the way down and hold it here. Bring the heels together. Tuck your elbows into your waist, and just lift up slightly, gently warming up the back. Tilt your chin down a little bit. So push those heels together, the glutes are engaged. Sending energy to your lower back, your rhomboids. Elbows are tucking into your side. And then come back onto the balls of your feet and press yourself up and lean back. Now you're gonna roll your back up. Look up towards the sky, arch your lower back. Lean back again, pull the tummy in as you roll up. And look up towards the sky, sort of undulating the spine. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale forward, look up. Beautiful, one more of those. Lean back. Roll up through the spine. Exhale, look up, your lower back's arch. And remember, we're gonna wag the tail a little bit. That's for the lower back. Good, and then you're gonna drop your hips forward. Point the toes, look up, drop your shoulders down away from your ears, bend the elbows and gently come down towards the floor. And you're gonna inhale up again, just the upper body, pressing up. And look over to one side. To the other side. Center and come down again. Another big breath, press up. And look over to the other side. It's really good to warm up the neck and center. Now listen, if you guys have your body sinking down like this, I want you to push your shoulders away from the ears so that you don't feel that tension in your traps. And then come all the way down. Good, this time you're gonna lift your glutes up, your bottom, your bottom comes up and sit back onto your heels. And press your bottom up, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. You're gonna stretch one leg out, the other leg out, and hold. Just hold it there. And then you're gonna tuck your elbows into your side again and lower yourself towards the floor. Hover there, and then lift your chest up. Push all the way up and hold. Change the position of your feet. Go onto the balls of your feet. Press your glutes up towards the ceiling, press your heels towards the floor, relax your shoulders, press your palms into the earth, and inhale and extend one leg up towards the sky. Now even your hips out a little bit so your leg doesn't have to go very high. If this position is difficult for you, you can come down like this and take one knee and lift the leg straight back. Bring the knee forward, step it through. Let's everyone bend the back knee, hold it. So put your hand on either side of your foot. Good, change the position of your back foot so that the top of your foot is on the mat. Good, holding that stretch, breathing into it, releasing and relaxing the shoulders. And let's just breathe, inhale through the nose, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, beautiful. So now you're gonna go into the ball of your back foot, straighten that leg out and turn towards the front leg and reach all the way up towards the sky. Beautiful. And bring it down. 
slide your back foot in and turn the back foot so that your heel is on the ground. Lunge forward and reach up. Hold it there. Relax your shoulders, tummy in, breathing. Good, you're gonna straighten out the front leg a little bit and bend it. Straighten it up and bend it. Straighten it up and bend it. Hold it here. Turn your shoulders so they're squared off towards the front. And then just take your arms and reach one towards me and one towards the back. Hold it there. Drop down a little deeper if you can, breathing. And kind of pull your shoulders back over your hips. Relaxing the toes. Feeling yourself, feeling your energy. Let's breathe into our lungs deeply and pull that air into the diaphragm. And exhale. Another deep breath. And exhale. Take your back hand and put it on your leg and reach up and look at your top arm. And bring the arm forward. We're going to spin it around like a helicopter, both hands on the floor. Lift up this front leg and bring it back. Get back to our plank. Hold it there. I'm going to pull your elbows into your side. Kind of hinge forward a little bit. Come down. And then lift up. Drop your knees down to the floor. Hold it there. Flatten the toes out. Good. Still warming up the back. Keeping the arms strong. Stay exactly where you are. And inhale and lift your knees up. And release it. That's it. Inhale, lift your knees up. And release it. One more time. Inhale, knees up. Beautiful. Release it. Good. Strengthen the lower back. Go back onto the balls of your feet and press your bottom up towards the sky. And then adjust your feet so that your heels are pressing into the earth. Try and make a triangle between yourself and the floor. And lift the other leg up. Point the toe and hold. Make your hips even. Remember, if you need to, you can bring it down on one knee. Keep your hips even and just stretch back. Or you can bring it up. Bring the extended leg forward, place it on the floor in between your hands, and then drop that back knee down, flatten the toe. Just hold it here for a second, bringing your chest up. You can go into the tips of your fingers if you like. Breathe into your heart. And you're going to shift back and change into the ball of your back leg and then extend that leg and hold it. Good. Place this palm firmly on the floor and then reach up and find your hand. Try and make a straight line from one hand to the other. Sunset Ranch Oasis is so beautiful. We get to look up at the palm trees and the sky. Listen to the birds. And let's bring it down. Good, you're gonna lift up a little bit. Come all the way up. Put that back foot flat and lift all the way up. Drop the shoulders down, square off the hips. Get in here, we're gonna lift and press three times. Inhale, press up and down. Again, up and down. Make sure that back heel is on the floor, up and down. Hold it there, excellent. Kind of adjust your shoulders so that they're over your hips. Your front knee is over your ankle. And just open out, reach towards me. Send the arms out and hold. 
And let's enjoy this. Let's inhale as if it's the most delicious breath you've ever tasted. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good. Bend a little deeper down. Take your back hand and place it on the thigh and reach up and look at your hand. You can drop down a little deeper in the front leg if you like. And then you're going to take that back arm up and windmill all the way down. Place both hands on either side of the leg. Lift the back heel up. And bring this other leg back into plank. Okay, we're going to work our abs a little bit. Bend the knees, but they don't touch the floor. And then press up. Again, inhale, bring the knees, lower the knees. Exhale, press up, and inhale, exhale, press up, beautiful, hold it. Now you're going to pull your abdominals in, lift up your upper body, and release. Again, lift up your upper body, and release. One more, lift it up, and when you release, you just bring it to a neutral spine with your hips at the same level as your shoulders. Drop the knees down, lean back. Slide your palms back, you're going to come up, place your hands behind your back, good, pull your elbows in, push your hips forward, just drive your pelvis forward, pull the elbows closer in to support your back, and just look up slightly. Good, tilt your hips back, your chest forward. And then you're going to roll it up, push your hips forward, look up, and then reverse it, come down, lead with your chest, inhale, roll it up, hips forward, and lead with your chest, and roll it up, good, open the palms out, lift up. Turn them up towards the ceiling and lean to one side. Inhale up, lean to the other side. And center. Now bend and contract the pelvis and push your arms forward. Now you're gonna lift your shoulders up and drop them down. Shoulders up and drop them down. One more up and drop them down. Now twist your body over, stretch, breathe, take them to a half circle and go to the other side. Another half circle to the other side. And one more. Bring it center, inhale up, release, release the arms, grab the hands behind your back, Straighten the arms out and squeeze. Lift your chest up, squeeze your elbows towards each other, shoulder blades together. Beautiful. And you're gonna bend back, drop your head, bring your arms up. Bring your arms by your side, roll it up. We're going to finish up with a hip stretch. You're going to take your hands forward, straighten one leg back, and bring the other knee forward in between your arms. Drop your glutes down towards the floor. So kind of sit in and then flatten out that back foot. You might need to roll into it a little bit. Good. You know, we often store a lot of tension in our hips. Good. So walk your hands out some. And then release and relax. Drop your elbows down. So while you're here, I want you to focus on just being here with your body, with your breath. 
Send a love energy throughout your body. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose, creating that heat and warmth and love inside of you. Walk your hands back. Take the back leg and bend it. And take the front leg and extend it. Use your hands to lift your body up and sit down so that you can feel the stretch in your hamstring. And inhale up and reach forward. Good, so working on the back of the thighs, doing that hamstring stretch, helps you to relieve lower back pain as well. Good, then we're gonna walk your hands back again, take that front leg and bend it. Lean your arms back, just your pelvic bone on this side, you're gonna lift it up and down. So that should feel really good because we get a lot of tension in our hip flexor, so you're just gonna press up, roll your hip forward and bring it back. Again, roll it forward and back. Two more, forward and back. You're gonna roll it forward and hold it forward. Take the arm from the back and reach it out and look up at an angle. Beautiful, open it out to the side. Place it in front of your knee. The other hand comes in front. Lift your glutes up and go back in the plank. And now we're just gonna lean to one side lean to the other side, getting yourself used to supporting your own body. And let's go forward a little bit and back. Forward and back. Lift your glutes up a little bit. Take the opposite leg, bring it forward. And then flatten out that back toe. Walk your hands out and just kind of get into the stretch. Everyone's gonna be at a different level here. One side is gonna be a little bit tighter or looser than the other. So just kind of sit into it till you feel the outer thigh stretching. And then walk your hands towards the front and just relax. We have some fireworks celebration here. We can't show you, but there must be a party. There's a party right here going on with us. Most important thing is to breathe. Even if you feel slightly uncomfortable, Inhale and release and relax the muscles. So you can take the tension out of the body. Walk your hands back. You're gonna bend the back leg a little bit and then straighten the front leg. Put your hands on either side of the leg. Lift yourself up and then sit into it. So you wanna be directly over the hamstring. Arms up and exhale forward. Again, getting that hamstring stretch is really important. Even if you can't come all the way down, I want you to just kind of stay up, lift your chest up, and lean forward till you feel the stretch in the back of the thigh. That's it. And the most important part about stretching is that you kind of relax into it. Don't tense up. That's the opposite of your goal. Relax into it and let the muscles just be fluid. And inhale, walk your hands back. Exhale, bend the front leg, bring it over. Again, 
just in your pelvic area. Just rotate your hip flexor up and drop it down and rotate it up and drop it down. One more up, hold it up. Take your arm, reach, look at your fingertips. Stretch, 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 pushing the hip forward. Bring the arm out to the side and swing that back leg around and cross your legs. Hold it there and let's inhale up and release and relax forward. And roll it up. Good. You're going to lean back a little bit. Take your legs and switch the other leg over. Inhale up, chest up, arms up, and reach forward again. You're going to change the position because it helps us stretch one hip a little more than the other. And let's roll it up. And I want you guys to remember that part of stretching your body out is also extending your energy outwards and bringing it back inwards. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall, close our eyes, and feel the energy that's sort of uh, traveling along our skin. And we have to do one thing for ourselves. We have to learn how to let the positive energy in and to block the negative energy from entering our bodies. So that means that you have to heighten your awareness and your filters and learn how to either receive or block energy. So you're going to sit nice and tall, relax the shoulders, open up the chest. You're here, you have the sun around your body, you have oxygen, clean air, beautiful plants, you're healthy, you feel amazing. Just breathe into yourself. And take a moment to be grateful for this present moment, for the miracle that is you, for your friends, for your family, for your work, for your contribution. What you focus on expands, so the more that you look for things to be grateful for, the more things you will find. Be grateful that you can hear me that we can be together from all areas of the earth. Be grateful that you can breathe, that you can see, that you can touch. And let's inhale. And let all that positive energy fill you up like a beautiful light. And exhale. And gratitude and celebration, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Now you're going to visualize a white light. Pull it in through your nose. Let it travel down the back of your throat. Let it expand your chest and your heart. Pull that light down into the bottom of your belly, let, belly and let it swirl around and dance and stretch. And that light is going to penetrate through your legs, through your knees, and any area that hurts you or ails you, that light is going to shine and heal. Bring it into the bottoms of your feet where you have your nerve endings and use that light to fire up stimulate all of your organs to bring them to the optimum state of health. 
and the light starts to fill you up until you just become the light. You are positive and beaming energy of health and vitality and happiness and the light is shining out through your skin. You are glowing. And pull that light up around your face and let that light inside you be reflected in your eyes, in your smile, in your thoughts. Remind yourself that you are filled with a loving energy and light and that you should be grateful every single day. And think about your skin, the largest organ in the body, and just put light all around you. This is a protective light. This beautiful light that surrounds your body will let only positive energy in and block negative energy out. If anything comes towards you, it will bounce off of you because your light is too strong to be penetrated. Hold it. Keep it with you daily. Breathe into it. Celebrate it. And place your hands together in front of your heart, clasping together in a prayer position to be grateful for your light. And the light inside of me salutes the light inside of all of you. And that's what means namaste. Namaste. So thank you, Raw Stars. Remember that Raw Stars shine bright. We take our light wherever we are. We constantly remind ourselves and those that are around us that we only accept positive energy in our spirit. We use positive thoughts, positive words, and positive action to create our own reality. So thank you for sharing this moment of stretch and meditation with us, and we'll see you all next time.